I guess I better go ahead and update you on my builds going on. I know I'm supposed to be working on the neck and finishing up guitar number three, but I've gotten sidetracked by the mandolins. And uh, you already know maybe that I've got the kerfing done for the first mandolin I was building. Let me show you what I'm working on. There's the mandolin. It's got the kerfing on both sides. This is going to be a carved top and back mandolin. I just don't have the wood to move on and do the top. All right, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. Uh, but what I do have are some Sapili guitar sides that are cracked. I've cracked three sides so far, trying to get these bent into a jumbo size. So I decided, you know, I might have enough to cut them shorter and make them mandolin sides. So that's what I've done. This was one side. I cut it before the waist and I took the other one and I've already bent it into a mandolin shape. So I've already made another head and tail block. I've got the Sapili side bent and in the man in the mold. So hopefully this one won't break. Um, the Sapili, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just hard to bend. I had trouble getting this to bend all the way. It's really stiff and uh, just very troublesome. But you can see, so now I've got two mandolins in the, in the works. And guitar number three is sitting in the room over there waiting to be finished. So I'll show you what the plan is. I've got this Sapili guitar back that I was going to use for guitar number four, along with those sides that I turned into mandolin sides. And I've got this Torrified Sitka Spruce top. So I figure what I can do is make a flat top mandolin. I found out there's more than one style of mandolin. And I've got a book that I bought called The Mandolin Project. You can get it from Amazon. I can't remember who wrote it, but he outlines how to build mandolins. And he outlines how to build like four different kinds of mandolins. So one of the ones he covers is a flat top mandolin. So it'll have a, you know, a sound hole in the middle instead of the F holes on the side. So that's my plan. I think it may be a quicker build than the carved top. Uh, I can use the back and the top I have and get that mandolin moving forward. You know, this flame maple that I've got for this first mandolin was actually, in comparison to the Sapili, on the hand bender. Super easy compared to trying to get the Sapili to bend and stay in shape. Anyway, it's just kind of an observation I had, just thought I would tell you.